All right, so I'm finally doing it, making an old shape Henry. But here's the thing. I'm not going to make this like your normal old shape Henry, although it's going to be similar. Because the thing is, I've never really wanted to make an old shape Henry because I'm going to be honest, it's really just what people do. They cut down the firebox and just make the slope as well as this part. But I want to do a lot. Like, it's said that the old shape Henry is a mix between an LNER A1 and a GNR C1. And I'm going to mix the two aspects of those. Like, this isn't really something similar to both of them, but I'm going to shorten down the tender, like, make it a little bit less tall. But I'm also going to do, like, the thing where instead of this firebox, it just slopes down. I'm going to move the dome forward a bit because I would feel really weird having it back so far without this. And as well as just making the running board curve a little, I'll explain more later. But for now, what I'm going to do is just start taking it apart, getting off the stickers, sanding it down a bit, all that. Alright, so took it all apart, and not too much, but you may notice I did some sanding like that. I'm going to do this when I do the cutting, but I'm going to get rid of the mold lines more. As well as I smoothened this out and just got rid of the smoke box part. Same thing for this side, since I don't try to, but it just like kind of sticks and I end up ripping it off. I'm going to try and cut it off and stuff, but yeah, not too much. Yeah, so this, you just got the window stickers removed. Here, let me grab it. And on the running board, just a bit of sanding and got rid of what I think is glue. So I just glue marks, get rid of the tender stickers. And yeah, now I can start doing the cutting. And I'll kind of go in detail on what I'm doing. One, I'm going to cut, like, from the firebox all the way around here so I can do the thing where it just goes out. I'm going to probably, like, go... I'm going to cut off a little bit of the wheel arch. I'll explain that. As well as flatten the cab bit. And like a C1 Atlantic, the cab doesn't like have a little drip. It just kind of curves in, so I'm going to be doing that. As well as I'm going to cut this off. Like, you know the thing I do with my, like, Austerity Customs? I just, like, cut from the bottom and be able to reuse this. As well as I'm going to do it for this and just save this for another project. Don't know what. And for the running board, let me put this together. So, from this part to this part it's gonna slope up so I'll cut the running board off and cut into the wheel arches a bit and I'll probably modify the front a bit just to curve a bit and as well as probably remove the lamp irons and on the tender just if you see like this part right here I'm gonna cut along here make the tender a bit shorter a bit smaller and also one more thing like the classic Henry thing that he doesn't have the steam pipe things so I'll get to work on cutting all that now. So, I did a lot of the cutting, but it's not completely done, and I'll explain on that in a second. But first of all, here's it kind of put together, and, well, I'm going to explain this part first. One, how the shaping isn't fully done yet, or the cutting at least. If you see, I cut off basically the middle part of the wheel arch. Or, no, yeah, wheel arch, I'm going to call it that. And basically what it's doing, I'm going to be raising it up, like doing a little slope around here, like, you know how... I did on my Scotsman model in Tornado, or no, Scotsman, where it sloped up and then back down at one point. I'm going to be doing something similar to that, because both the A1s and the C1s have that feature. But, something I need to do, I need it to be, like, put together for me to know exactly where this can go, if that makes any sense. So, I want to, while I'm shaping, I want to cut a bit more and put this together. But that's really the only thing I need to keep cutting for. But, I'll start I'll work on the rest, or just tell you what I did. Now, on here... It's not very visible, but I just kind of made it so this bottom part curved a little. Same for the side. And same for the front of here. I think it's noticeable, just a slight little curve. It's, it's subtle. And I got rid of the light, or the two lights, and the lamp iron, because I'm going to do... I, I've found a way to do just uh, my own lamp irons with, like, Q-tip bits. It works. And now on Henry. The big thing is I cut off the um, firebox, or smoke... When I, yeah, firebox, as well as the dome, which I do have right here, so I can use it later. I'm going to cut off the top feed, which I think that's what it's called. And I tried cutting a little bit, but I didn't do too much for the wheel arches. And for the tender, I basically cut down completely for this part, which, when I shape, I'm going to do it so it kind of curves in here. And on here, I kind of just made it so this bends a bit. Not too much, like, almost like circular. But yeah, now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to start getting all the shaping done. The shaping is now all done. Oh, did not mean to move the camera there. So, I did a lot. 
One, you got the firebox done. Cover the front with paper. I would use clay, but I'm not... I don't know how, but I kind of lost where it was, so I got to find it, but I just used paper for now. Same on the other side. I think it looks pretty good, and especially it just like slopes over the wheel arch, doesn't cut into it. And it, it's a bit rough, but it should look better once painted. You got the slope up I was talking about, and I do think it looks pretty good. And I put paper over this just to make it totally flat. And I added in my own lamp irons, which they're just like little Q-tip rods things. And the same thing for the running board on the other side. And yeah, that's really it. So now I can start painting, which it's going to be either in this or this green. I still have to decide. The green is all on now. Here, I'll go over the main shell first. So, do what the paint says, this is a mint green. Or, no, not mint, a leaf, my bad. I don't know why I got those two mixed up. And I do think it fits pretty well. The lighting, I don't think it shows it too well. Here, I can try and move this. Yeah, this is better to see. Alright, I think it looks pretty good. You got the same for the tender. All around, and a little bit on the inside. Yeah, it kind of does blend in with the green, so, especially with this lighting. Well, there you might be able to notice it. But, the greens are somewhat similar. I also painted the pistons. And, as you see all the wheels, but I'm not going to go over each individual one. But now, I can paint all the black parts, like, smoke box, just the, not, not the entire running board, but the top of it. I'm going to do black for the top instead of white. And, I'm going to also paint the front of the tender, just make it kind of look nice. And a few smaller things. So, I'll get to that right now. Alright, so I painted all the black parts. And first I'll start with Henry. Literally, like, nothing visible here, but when you turn around, got the back painted. And on here, you're the chassis bottom. You just got the all-around painted black. A little bit on the bottom. Tender, you just got the front painted. And I painted a little bit on the, like, wheel axle part where that goes. Mainly the front, since that's visible, but the sides you won't be seeing them since the tent was covering it, so I don't know why I painted those. Also, painted the smoke box. Sure, it's not really visible and changed, but it just makes it look a bit smoother. And this, it doesn't look great because, you know, the red isn't painted on yet, but the black's on the top. And it will look a lot better once I painted it red. For now, I just kind of did it where it needed to be. But now, I shall start with the red lining. The lining is all done. And you may notice the lighting is a bit different, but I'm just experimenting. I think having a few of the lights off will make it a bit easier to see all this. So I'm going to try that and just see how it looks while I'm recording here. So you got the boiler lining, which that was pretty easy since it's 3D. You can just trace along it or as well as the um, wheel arch lining. I'm just going to call it the wheel arch. I think it has like a different name. Well, I think it's called splashers, but I could be wrong. You also have lining on the firebox, which I do think looks pretty good. Here, we accidentally kicked that. And the cab lining, which there will be more of it when I do the final detailing, but I'll go over that as I do it. And you got lining on the pistons and the tender. You got this side, this side, and I actually did back lining. I'm going to tr start trying to do that more as I've been kind of avoiding it. But now, I can start with the final detailings, which I'm thinking silver handrails, of course the window details. Uh, I'm, on terms of number, I don't think I'm going to add one. But, and also, something I'm going to do, I'm going to, no, I'm going to wait, actually wait on that and tell you what I'm going to do after I do the detailing. <laughs> Why did I say it like that? But, I'm going to start with the detailing now. Alright, so, it's a bit dark, but here's the details all done. So first, you got a little builder's plate. Thought that might look kind of cool. Just a little, sil or, uh, what is it, gold dot. And also a window. You know, I'm going to turn the light on to make this more visible. Um, I took a little bit of inspiration. I kind of forgot who, but I remember seeing someone who did a window like this. If I do find it, I will link that in the description. And uh, I thought this kind of window design looked pretty cool, especially with the lining. And you got the red windows in the front. Gold whistle. I would have done a 3D one, but it's kind of hard. And it's blocked by the shadows, but I put one in here too. And also silver handrails. Same on the smoke box. Oh, let me drop that. And tender, literally just a lamp in the back. And for here, you got red all around you now. I think it looks pretty good. The lighting kind of sucks. Here, maybe, maybe that's better. Yeah, red all around. But, oh yeah, also back here. So, what I'm going to do now 
the final thing I talked about, I'm actually going to do weathering. I'm going to weather this, like, pretty heavily. So I'll do that real quick and get back to you. All right, so here's everything weathered, and i um, in a different place. It's, yeah, this may be a little echoey, but I don't know. It's done. So I weathered it a whole lot, like, pretty intensely, but I, I tried making it look good. bit intense right here, but I think it looks all right. A little bit on the wheel arches and such. And guys, I, well, I did some on the roof too. I did this because I thought it's old shape Henry. Might as well make him look like, you know, it's received damage, not not just like cleaned, I guess. And I did it a lot on the tender considering, you know, it's a coal tender. Of course there will be coal in here. And it's not noticeable, but I did a little on the front and tried to make it less intense as it goes to the back. And I did it some on the pistons as well. And, you know, I did some on the Daniel model, if you remember that one, but it's a lot less intense. And I'm not going to show them all, but I did the wheels. And now, I'm going to spray this all in a matte clear coat. Alright, so, I got everything in the matte clear coat, and here's the thing, it's barely noticeable. And that's something I like about it, actually. Like, it, of course, you do get that, like, shiny view at the top with it, but with this, like, if I want something to look more matte, it just keeps it like that. doesn't make it all glossy if it's already matte paint. But if it's gloss, it can tone it down a little. So that's something I like about it. The running board, it may be a little noticeable, but not too much. So I'm not going to show everything off. But now, I can fully assemble it. And here he is, 100% complete. Well, 99% complete, I'd say. Because one thing is, this face is temporary. I'm not able to print a Henry face at the moment, because you know I do paper faces. So... As soon as my computer stops being stupid and I can actually print something, I will print a Henry face. But I am actually very happy with this. But, and I guess 98% because, yeah, oh, it's, it's working now, but the, the wheel's kind of locked when I did something. But who knows, I'm sure it's going to probably have some adjustments, but this is it mainly completed. And, man, I really like this, especially the heavy weathering. I do think it looks pretty good. Especially for, like, um, I call this my second attempt, because I think I didn't show off. I did weather my 16 model quite heavily. And, uh, oh, I just saw people were weathering it with, like, weathering powder and stuff, so I thought I might order some off eBay and try it for myself, and I really do like it. So, this is my custom Old Shape Henry. Thank you all for watching, and goodbye!